Good vach, good moed, and welcome to BJC Mitzvah Day, number 121, part 3 of Mitzvah Day, keeps your soul on its way, and yes, we're in a new setting, because it's Sukkos, Chag Sameach to all, we're supposed to get out of our house, recognize the Almighty is our landlord, he kicks us, he evicts us out of our house for seven days in Israel, eight days in America, it's even worse outside of Israel, and this becomes our home, we sleep, we eat, we do everything here, everything that we normally do in our house. We do in our sukkah and recognize that just like the sukkah is temporary, so too this existence in this world, Allah Maza is temporary. The real world is the world to come. That's what we're shooting for. The world that only accepts Torah and mitzvahs as its entrance. Entrance fee, right? So let's get cracking, folks. Torah and mitzvah, let's do it. Okay, we're on, again, um, the obligation to bring a chatas offering, which is mitzvah number 121, and we're in part three. The Chinuch continues, it emerges from this discussion that you can learn that the total number of sins in the Torah for which an individual is obligated to bring, <coughs> excuse me, uh, obligated to bring a fixed chatas offering for committing them in a, unintentionally is 43. You may go and reckon them and you'll find them to be so, with most of them relating to prohibitions of illicit relations, arias. A little hard to, to see, so you'll excuse my uh, slow pace. The Chinuch discusses the degree of inadvertence necessary for Chatos liability. And also pertinent to this subject is that which our Sage of the Blessed Memory said in Shabbos that there is no liability to a Chatos offering, to a sin offering, unless the act is inadvertent from the commencement of the transgression until the end. One who transgresses the same prohibition repeatedly will at times incur only one chatas offering, again, that means sin offering, and in other instances incur a chatas for each transgression. The Echinach presents the determining factor. Another law relevant to this mitzvah is the principle of division of liability through awareness, meaning that when a transgression is repeated numerous times and the perpetrator becomes aware of each transgression separately, each separate Awareness of having sinned generates a separate liability for a chatas offering. For it is possible for the inadvertent sinner to experience awareness numerous times regarding his inadvertence that led him to commit the transgression repeatedly. The Chinuch concludes, These laws, as well as the many additional details of this mitzvah, are set forth in tractate Horus and Krisus. Those are tractates, as well as in certain places in tractate Shabbos, Shavuos, and Zavachim. This mitzvah applies in the time of the temple when offerings are brought to both men and women. One who transgresses this mitzvah and does not bring a chatas for his inadvertent sin has violated a mitzvah obligation, and we have concluded that mitzvah. Thanks for listening to Spons Future Mitzvah 36. 100 for the gold. See you tomorrow.